Hi, my name is John Mills, and I'm the Vice President of Morris Light and Sound in Nashville, Tennessee, where one of my many roles is System Engineer and Crew Chief for country music superstar, Kenny Chesney. I've spent 20 plus years on the road learning the ins and outs of tuning systems. Whether as a front of house engineer or system tech, it really all boils down to a couple of things. The artist needs to feel like he's been translated well to his audience and making the audience feel like they heard every note and nuance of the artist's voice and band's performance. Personas has teamed up with the guys at Rational Acoustics to yet once again upgrade the mixer you already paid for with a free tool that you didn't know you needed until you tried and figured out, how the heck did I ever live without this? These guys have taken countless hours of me banging my head against a computer screen and given us wizards to guide you through the process and takes you to the point of deleting the room from the equation. Let me introduce you to the system delay wizard. Well, why do I need that, John? Um, let me explain. If you're in a room, let's say a club or even a church, for instance, the rooms are very, uh, the, the problem is very similar. The room, let's say, is 100 feet deep. And at 75 feet out, the ceiling height changes, whether it be the balcony or it's just the room changes into a, you know, the, the club expanded and that's a new building that they went into and they knocked out a wall. 20 foot ceilings from here to 75 feet out and then from 75 to 100 feet, it went to 12 feet. That area back there becomes a bit of a cave and the sound back there is going to be real muffled sounding because the mains are probably not going to get in there real well. So what I'll do a lot of times is I'll add a secondary set of speakers back there. If we don't delay those speakers, the sound arrives at two different times, meaning if this sound is going to play a snap, and this is my delayed speaker, for instance, let's pretend that this is 75 feet for argument's sake. I realize it's not. All you nerds, I realize. Don't pay attention to the picture. Pretend it's bigger. Okay, so that speaker fires a sound. Bang. And it's flying through space and time, and it gets to this speaker. If this speaker is not delayed, this is what happens. And they both go forward at the same time, right? If we delay the speaker, what happens is this. Okay? So as it gets there, it picks up the other one, right? And they travel together at the same time. When they arrive at your ears at the same time in the back of the room, this speaker actually sounds like it disappears. We're going to simulate that in a few minutes here. The way that the smart delay wizard has been integrated into the system delay wizard is that this microphone out here has been placed via our GUI, it tells us where to place it, main speaker, delay speaker, the wizard shows us, place this out in front of the delayed speaker. We'll then tell it that we have this speaker connected to the main left and right, and we have this speaker connected to subgroup one. Anything that I want in that delay system, I'll assign to subgroup one. The wizard will then take us through the whole process of playing a sound through that, playing a sound through that, measuring all these delays, doing all this hard math, and eventually ended up with a time-aligned system. We'll hear both differences before and after, and you guys will be able to make your own choice as to why it's better. So let me show you how this actually works in the wizard. What we're going to do is launch Smart here, and we're going to enter Smart Remote. Remember, when you're doing these things, the console takes over. Anything you're playing, do not do this during a show. It's pre-show only setup stuff. Proceed. I've already selected Smart Delay Wizard here, System Delay Wizard. We're going to come here. We're going to tell it that our main speaker, which output are we delaying, is the, should the system delay align to. So this is our main speaker. Which output would you like to set the delay time on? This is the one we're going to set the delay on, which would be our secondary speaker. And what I've done is I've connected that to output subgroup one. So only things that go to that are things that I assign to it. So I would select kick, snare hat, vocals, guitars, whatever, would go to mains and to sub one so that subgroup one output goes to that. That's where we're going to set our delay. So we've set that up correctly. If you notice down here, these are our subgroups where we can put delay speakers. They're all set to zero, so there's no time on this at all right now. We're going to say OK to this. It tells us to place your RT mic on axis in front of the delay system. So that's what we've done. You can see the microphone back there basically right in front of the secondary speaker. And again, keep in mind, we're faking it, but this would be 75, 100 feet, something like that. It's not really the 5 or 10 feet that it physically is here in this room. So we've kind of faked it a little bit. So we're going to do that. We've set our microphone up. We're going to say OK. Measure our delay time. Let's set some noise to it. This is how it knows what the time is. So now that we've done that, I'm going to hit Analyze, and notice it's taking its time, taking a shot of the room right there. Now it's moved, and it's now listening to the sound from the secondary speaker, the one towards the back of the room. I see it. I verify I hear sound out of it. I'm going to hit Analyze. Again, it's taking a measurement, and as soon as it's done, it's going to calculate for us that that speaker needs 79 milliseconds of delay. 
Now, yes, I know it's 10 feet right here. I've faked the 79 for you for this intent and purpose so you can hear it when I turn it on and off in a minute. I'm going to hit apply to that and notice it added it to what we said it was connected to. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come out of this little wizard and I'm going to start up a little mix and we're going to show you the 79 milliseconds versus not. So you'll hear this speaker system only, then I'll turn that speaker system on with no delay and then I will turn on the correct delay to that speaker system and you'll hear how they disappear basically. So we're going to hit exit on this. Go back to our channel overview. I'm going to flip over to my capture program here and play back our friend Chris LeBlanc again. So this is with one delay speaker system on. Okay. Now you're hearing both of them at the same time, so you're hearing a slap out of the two of them. If I then mute this, I'm going to go ahead and insert the correct time on that again, where it said it was, and we're going to turn them back on again. Okay, that's just this system. Now, as we add that one, you can notice that the timing, you shouldn't hear the slap back between the two of them. There it is with that setting that the wizard did for us, and here it is without it. Right? That should be self-evident.